for their starting lineup to be showcased. Safari Chambers, of course, is in goal. Tariq Zimin is a 16-year-old, getting his second start for the Stars of the East. Gerard Neal comes in to the back for them, uh, partnering Ajani Talbert. Odalyn Harding, of course, plays at left back in the middle of the pack. Kasim Priestley, Lavelle Palmer, and Krista J. Daly up front. Tevin Scott, their marksman, Akwasa Chung, and Lennox Russell. Number of changes there have heard uh, forced. Yep. Atafori Bygrave has come into the Don Beholden starting lineup. They uh, have four at the back in Dice, Dyer, James, and McPherson. The hold midfielders, Mark Miller and Shaquille Powell. And behind Bygrave will be Weatherly, Bailey, and Christian. Well, coming off the back of a good win, and, and Coach Thomas beginning to put his input in a keenly contested encounter in this game. Harborview started off strongly. And uh, that effort from Zimini is just over the top. Damian Hyatt seeing that one all the way. And then Tevin Scott, who had a, a really good game, an influential game, firing that one. And this time Hyatt needs a touch on it, powering it over the crossbar. Atafroy Bygrave was through on goal, looking for his first goal in the Premier League. And it was drifted wide, and the follow up into the side netting. And then. Scott again with an effort. Mistake at the back by Don Beholden. And then this free kick. Don Beholden trying to go ahead. And uh, Tafari Chambers was in the way. Weatherly passing it to Rodave Murray. Lost his balance, lost his footing, was looking for a call there. It didn't come his way. The only call that would come inside the penalty area was on Tevin Scott, who was brought down before Akwasa Chang went down and then he picked himself up to fire that one from 12 yards. That's his fourth goal this season and he made us know. Daly picking up the free kick and he would become provider. Talk about on a platter for Tevin Scott who really and truly could not miss from there. More of the same at the beginning of the second half. Krista J. Daly though, finding Damian Hyatt. He would have felt that he should have done better. And then Bygrave again with an effort. Clear cut opportunity for the striker. And again, he couldn't find the target. He was the one who rose highest there and uh, hit the post. And then Bailey twisting and, and turning and couldn't get the pass inside. There's a, another effort from distance as Don Beholden pressed late on in the game. But uh, not enough power, firepower to get by Tafari Chambers and uh, Miller's shot there. Took a deflection and Chambers taking no chances. And then late in the game, Powell trying to go through the legs of the keeper and not a lot of power in that shot. Miller's effort again going down the throat of Chambers and that was all she wrote for this encounter. 13 shots for Harbour View, 5 on target, Dundee Holden with 15 shots, also 5 on target, 23 fouls are committed in this one. The three yellow cards shown to Harborview, the one red card shown to Harborview as well. And that was the young right back, Tariq Zimini. He's just 16 years of age. He learned from this. Five corners to Dunby Holden, four corners to Harborview. And uh, you see the saves made by the Harborview custodian, Tafari Chambers, although most of those efforts were pretty much tame. Harborview with 52% of the possession. Good performance from you both ends at the park, but let me ask you first, I uh, saw you coming off, was it uh, just cramps or you have a little injury? Well, it's just cramps. Just cramps? Yeah, cramps. Uh, tell me a little bit about the goal you scored. Is it something that comes straight off the training ground? Is that a set play that, set play that you practice? Well, uh, something come off at the training ground, you know, because coach always try to make me play off of that little play that I'm score. So, yeah. it's something off I, um, the training ground where we practice. 
But you look very good today. As I said, you're doing it at both ends of the park. Um, long may it continue for Harbour View. All the best for you. All right, thanks. So there we have it. Scott having a very good performance for Harbour View. Quite pretty much, pretty much the catalyst for their performance. And uh, let me know here what Coach Thomas has to say about this performance today. Why did it take so long for Dumbe Holden to really get into this game and really pressurize Harbour View? Well, it, I can't say it took so long. The chances came very early in the game, just that we never took them. Um, it's difficult to say. Um, we, we were lackluster today. Um, but we still got enough chances to, to, make a, to make a game out of it. And we just never did that today. We gave up two, two goals from set pieces. Um, you know, we, just, we have a lot of work to do. And we just have to continue working. Second uh, uh, match into your role as, as coach, mm -hmm. are you seeing enough improvement to be encouraged by this team? Well, I've been in this game long enough to know that you're not going to see improvements in two weeks. You know, but um, I'm, I'm positive. All right? Um, well, all the best. Thanks a lot. Thanks much. Lord. Um, well, Coach Bernard, he will join me now on the back of two wins, two clean sheets. Um, he's seemingly making a habit of making hard work of, of, of closing out games, Coach Bernard. Yeah, well, sometimes the conditions dictate that, you know. And um, as I say, I think of the squad to, to reflect any particular circumstance that may arise, you know. So... From as early as probably about 20, 17, 15 minutes out, we decided that we're just going to close it out. So let me ask though, it's the second time I've seen you approach this way in terms of playing on the counter the second half. Is it down to the condition of the, the team and not being able to execute that type of pressing? Um, I think what happens, the breeze is a significant factor because if you notice, um, Don Golden probably would have been on the back foot in the first half and then it switched. But you see, you have to apply your tactics that are going to be appropriate for the respective conditions. You know, so we knew ahead of time that this was going to be the situation, so we prepared ourselves for it. Feeling that, based on all the evidence of what you've seen from your team, you can challenge for the show for this season? The objective is to challenge and the objective is to win. Um, it is very, although we probably have a youthful squad, the, the, it is very important that we... Um, we inculcate a winning mentality in these guys if they are going to be the future. You know, so we don't have a problem um, executing that kind of an approach. And um, so far, we have been farting it. We'll be watching and we'll see how it progresses. All Thank the best. Thank you very much. Good. It's true that Harbourview, they have a lot to look forward to with that 2 0 win over Don Beholden earlier today. Cavalier got the better. Of Arnett Gardens by three goals to nil. All those goals coming in the second half. Two matches to look forward to on Sunday. Humberland against Vere United. Then Malines United against Mount Pleasant. And the one game on Monday we'll see Tivoli Gardens against the last champions of this Premier League. Portmore United. So with the results, Harbourview on top with eight points. They're one ahead of Cavalier. And... Uh, Portmore United on six points. Of course, they have the game in hand. So to Wardhouse and Vere United, who complete the top five. So, matches coming up on CVM TV and Sportsmax on Sunday. Humble Lion against Vere United, and that will kick off, or the the show begins at 12:45 p.m. Jamaica time, 1:45 p.m. in the Eastern Caribbean, and also the second game of the doubleheader, Lions United against Mount Pleasant beginning at 3.30 p.m., 4.30 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time. And the lone Monday game, Tivoli Gardens against Fort United. We're expecting that to be a really good encounter that will begin at 3.30 p.m. Jamaica time, 4.30 p.m. ECT. And that's pretty much it for coverage. Just to remind you of the scoreline here, Harbourview with a 2-0 win over Dunby Holden a young Harbourview team seeking to impress in this Jamaica Premier League sponsored by Digicel. On behalf of the very hard-working production team, I'm Donald Oliver. It's back to studios.